what we're going to be taking you through now is our introductory to fitness so if you've fallen off the wagon you're getting into fitness for the very first time or you're just looking to get back into shape and get motivated again this will be absolutely perfect for you we've got um, our main man pete here he's not done anything for a while have you pete so get back into it so we're going to start off with a warm so i'm just going to demonstrate a warm that i use very regularly this is suitable for all levels of fitness from a beginner who's done absolutely nothing to an advanced level of fitness um, I've used this with professional athletes as well. So it's a linear warm up. So it is what it says on the tin, just going back and forward, going through various different bits of mobility, um, dynamic stretching, and a pulse raiser as well, and specific movements to what we're going to be doing on the session today. So, if Pete, if you'd just like to stand and face me, like just in front of the box, and places his hands and knees together, just going to explain it, demonstrate it, imitate it, then he's going to practice it. So we start off with the mobilisation, placing hands on some knees like so, and rotating them around to the left hand side, just nice and gentle, we're going to do a couple of rotations, but Pete knows how I work as well, so on my next word command change, he's going to start rotating the opposite way, stand by change, so opposite way around now, so he's mobilising the knees, and the reason we do mobilisation is to get a release of synovial fluid into the joint cap, so sat lubricates the joints ready for training so you're not getting clicking etc on my next word of command change you're going to start rotating the hips around like so stand by change let's go so hips around take your feet shoulder width apart sorry about that i take feet shoulder width apart nice big circles like he's doing a hula hoop like so yeah the little girl's absolutely brilliant on the hula hoop should get her to demonstrate this she's better than me at this one and um, start rotating around the opposite way there then good stuff what I tend to do is I work up the body and then back down when it comes to mobilisation, guys. So just carry on doing what you're doing for a minute, Pete. On the next word, come on, change. You're going to rotate onto that toe like so, doing trunk twists. Three, two, one, change. Let's go. So make sure you come onto that toe as well, Pete. That's it, good stuff. And the reason Pete's coming onto his toe there, if you look at me with my feet planted, there's a chance of you putting a bit of unnecessary pressure on on the knee there and jarring the knee if you think of a boxer throwing a punch he would turn on to that toe and he wouldn't um, jar the knee all right good stuff so continuing with that movement with the legs what he's going to do on my next word command change is start going over like so stand by change let's go so over so he's now loosening off all these muscles down here and he's mobilizing it into the spine as well what you might find when you start doing them little bits of mobilization Pete might be getting it now. Um, a few little clicks here and there, but the more he moves, is it'll start start relieving that pressure in the joints. The synovial fluid will be in there. All right, then on the next word of command, change, Pete. All you're going to do is start rotating the shoulders around to the front, like so. Stand by, change. So shoulders start going around to the front now. Three rounds to the front, and then three rounds to the back in your own time. And then you're going to go into big circles with the arms. Just carry on that in your own steam now. So once you've done your three, big circles with the arms now. That's it. Good. Three forward. Oh, sorry. Three backwards. Shift started back. Three forwards. Then you're going to go into a breast stroke on the next, next one. So three big breast strokes. Two, three. Then he's going to reverse it. I like to keep everything flowing as well. If things flow, it's more fun. Then he's going to go upwards this time for three. Then he's going to go down for three. And then he's going to start jogging on the spot, getting his knees up nice and high. The knees up nice and high. Just take a couple of steps back there. On my next word of command, go. He's going to run out to me, getting the knees up nice and high level with me. And then he's going to run backwards onto his toes. Three, two, one, go. So knees up nice and high, backwards on your toes, backwards on your toes. That's it, good stuff. And start flicking the heels to the rear. Good stuff. Next way to command go, he'll get his heels to the rear coming out level with me, then backwards on his toes, stand by, go! So, level with me, backwards on your toes now, well done. And start kicking the toes out to the front as you get back in, good stuff. So he'll run out to me this time, toes out to the front, stand by, go! And then he'll turn and face the door and the camera, run backwards on your toes, turn and face the door and the camera into jumping jacks like so. I apologise about that, my explanation wasn't so great on that one. This time he's going to side stride out to me, side stride back in. Stand by, go. So side stride out to me, once you level with me this side, you're going to go into squats, yep. Yeah. Good stuff, so squats now. Make sure the back's nice and straight, so feet and shoulder width apart. Back nice and straight. Try and come down a little bit lower if you can. 
good stuff. So we're working through that range of movement. That's it, good stuff. And the next word of command, go. So run out to me, run backwards onto his toes, and back into squat again. Stand by. Go. That's it. Backwards on your toes into squat. Same form, a little bit more fluid now. Take the pace up a little bit. Just look at your form from the side. Your chest out a bit more. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Good stuff. That's it, well done. This time you're going to run out a little bit quicker. Stand by, go. It's a little bit quicker, backwards on your toes. And into squats once more. So concentrate on the form. Turn the toes out a little bit in centre two position as well. Good stuff. When we do exercise, make sure you're doing them in great form, guys. Just getting warmed up at the moment. That's it, good stuff. On my word of command time, you're going to place your hands onto your head. Take five big deep breaths. Time! So five big deep breaths. In through the mouth, nose breathing out hard. <sighs> through the mouth like so. It's just like this. <sighs> five big deep breaths. Good stuff. Good stuff, so... Lays the hands onto the side now. Just a little bit of a pulse raiser to finish off. What Peter's going to do is sprint out to me. Touchdown, turn, sprint back. Just for 10. 3, 2, 1. Go 10 sprints. That's it. Nice and nice and fast start. Low, explode up, posture up into it. Once he's done his 10, again, he'll place his hands above the head. And then he'll take the five big deep breaths. And that'll be us suitably warmed up then, ready for training. That's it. Good stuff, Pete. Let's go. Couple more left now, couple more left. Once he's done his 10th one, he places his hands to his head. It's important, this is the recovery part now. It's important to recover, stood up when you're training. Um, just get you into that discipline of relaxing. A lot of people do is sit down, fall into bad posture, but there's more chance of injury further down the line with seasonal. So it gets the oxygen into the lungs a little bit better as well. That is Pete suitably warmed up. Feel warmed up, ready to go into some training, yeah? Good stuff. So thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you want to see more workout videos. And thanks for your time once again. Commando Kev, checking out.